Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome. Thank you for joining us here today. Uh, my name's uh, John O'Neill. I'm the chair of the Mid North Coast Committee for Regional Development Australia. I'd especially like to acknowledge amongst us this morning our local member, Pat Conahan, who's here to uh, unveil this strategy that's been a collaboration between RDA Mid North Coast and the RDA Northern Rivers. It's the uh, North Coast Employment Strategy. I have with us today our Director of Regional Development, Kerry Grace, who I'd like to bring before you to give an overview and to uh, give you a discussion on the formation of this really important strategy. And it's, uh, I would like to acknowledge that the support of the government, uh, both state and federal, in forming this strategy has been invaluable to RDA and we totally appreciate the support we get from them. Without any further ado, Kerry, please. Thank you. So the North Coast Employment Strategy is a really important collaborative document that's been developed by, as John mentioned, RDA Mid-North Coast and RDA Northern Rivers. And we've also had the support of the Regional Australia Institute by Kim Horton in its development, which has been great. We know that employment and the way that employment works in the regions needs to change. It's a new time. COVID has created some significant challenges as of the bushfires that we need to address so that we can create pathways and opportunities for all people in employment and also make sure that businesses have the skilled staff that they need now and into the future. The job market is changing and there's jobs that exist that currently don't exist. We need to be planning our young people for the jobs of the future. We need to be making sure that our careers teachers are adequately resourced so that they can be supporting young people to get jobs and networking and linking with businesses so that they have the staff they need. So this plan isn't about a document that sits on the desk, it's a live action plan. We will be speaking with businesses and working with businesses to create workforce plans and also to develop actions so that we can create change for jobs, for people and skilled employ skilled uh, roles into the future. Now I'd like to introduce Pat Conahan to officially launch the strategy. Thanks very much Kerry. Uh, thank you John. Uh, good morning everybody and I'd like to uh, first acknowledge the uh, traditional custodians, the Gumbungia people um, and their uh, elders and uh, emerging elders. Now it's fair to say the last 12 months have been extremely difficult uh, for my electorate and other electorates around Australia, we've faced drought, we've faced fires, floods and now COVID-19. When I first came into this role, youth unemployment was a little over 20%. We managed to get that down to around 12%, which of course is way too high. Uh, but now because of uh, COVID-19, uh, things are completely different. But I'm proud to be part of a federal government uh, who has taken the steps to implement programs to help everybody, to implement programs uh, to help those uh, employers and employees stay together through JobKeeper, uh, implement programs such as JobSeeker for those uh, who don't have employment, who lost their employment. Those are really important. And what also is very, very important is the new Job Maker program. And with that, and through uh, RDA. I'm so proud to be here to uh, launch this program, to launch this employment strategy. I've read this document back to front and I can tell you that it is different to what we have seen in the past. It is a game changer. It is focused locally. It is focused towards our people. And I commend uh, both Kerry and John and the board for the work that they've done on this. And I'm proud to be part of it moving forward and, and to helping our people for the next five years, for the next 10 years, for the next 15 years, to have those roles uh, for not only the youth, but also those who are going to be in need for new employment in the future. And I commend everybody who have worked so hard uh, on this program. Thank you very much and I'm happy to launch it today. Thank 